Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So uh, in this video, I have to show you how you can configure a WireGuard VPN on the Microsoft router. So if you have a computer which is running a Windows uh, operating system, then you can connect VPN to the WireGuard. WireGuard is a new uh, VPN that it has been added on the Microsoft router as version 7. So from version 7, you can use WireGuard on Microsoft. I do have a course speaking about uh, WireGuard in details. The course name is VPN Tunneling on Microsoft with labs so there i discuss about the wire guard i explain it in details i tell you how it works and then i make uh, two labs one for site to site and one for client to site so to show you all details about wire guard but what i want to do in this video is just to show you how you can configure it using the microsoft windows so we are going to configure it on the microtech uh, router and then we do uh, have also a windows pc then to connect to it so the idea is that if you have a microtech router you are going Going to run vpn on it then if you have a microsoft windows then you connect to that uh, router and then you can go to the internet from that router so this is the idea my computer is on one uh, network uh, connection which is totally different than the one on the router so think as if like you are traveling and uh, you work for a company and uh, while you are on your business trip you want to connect to your the company to go via vpn so that's something you can use it using the wild card so you are for example in a hotel and you just connect from the internet of the hotel vpn to your uh, office router and then you can go to the internet from there because it's more secure and also to be able to send your emails reach some servers so all those uh, things you can do so let's start directly with the configuration on the microtech router so here is my microtech router at this moment this router has internet and it is going via a public ip address so it's very important that you have a public IP address on your Microsoft router or you are doing port forwarding to allow the uh, WireGuard uh, port to pass to this router. So anyone connecting to, for example, your public IP address, your ISP router will send it to the router, which is the Microsoft router. Uh, so it will send the uh, WireGuard traffic to it. So you can see we have WireGuard here. We go to it and the first thing is to make WireGuard interface so we create the interface i say apply then you have now the public key and the private key again that's something i speak and explain about it in my course i'm gonna leave for you the link in this uh, video so you can for um, register to that course if you want to know the details and this is the listening port which needs to be arriving to this router so the uh, vpn can be formed so this is the first thing that we need to do and then I will say, okay. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to go to Wildcard website. And then from here, I go to installation and I uh, download and uh, install this one for Windows. So uh, this is the software that uh, needs to be downloaded and installed for Windows. I have already done that to just one time. And now if I go to my computer and I write Wildcard, now this is what I have. So this is the software that needs to be on your computer. But before we do that, let me show you something that my computer has an IP address different than the IP address of uh, of the one which is the router. So if we look here on what is my IP, so this is the IP address that my computer has, or let's say the IP address that my computer is using to go to the internet because my computer is behind a net. And once we do the uh, VPN, we will see that this one will start by 31 will change. So it will change to another IP address. Now, how to configure that? So we have to do the configuration first on the Microtik and then on the computer. So first we have created this one. We said apply public and private IPs that are there, very good. Now what I need to do is to go to IP address and give to this interface that we have created an IP address. We give it something like 172.22.0.1 slash 24 and we put it on the wire guard. You see that? On this interface, we put 172.22.0.1. You can choose any IP that you want. And then I will say here, okay. Now I need to configure the peers. So we only have now one peer, which is my computer. So I have to go to peers here on WireGuard. And then I will say, there is the peer. So I need to put here the public key. Which public key? The public key of the peer. So we have to go to this software here. And now when I say here, add empty tunnel 
you see that it has a public key. So I will copy that public key from that software and I put it there. And then we have endpoint, endpoint ports. That's something we don't have to fill it here because that's if you are connecting to uh, the uh, WireGuard server. In my case, here the router is not connecting to a WireGuard server. Here is the server, so we don't fill anything here. What we need to fill here is the allowed address. The allowed address means the IP that I'm going to put it for the computer on the uh, interface for the WireGuard. So we have chosen here, if you remember, 172.22.0.1. So I will say here that my computer, I'll put it 172.22.0.2, for example. And then we can say a slash uh, 24 or slash 32, whatever. So let's do it slash 32. So I'll say only this IP. All right, and I will say here apply. So that's all what you need to do from the router, which is the server side. Now we have to go to the computer. And from here, we have first the name is very important. And that's something they say to you here. If you look on the WireGuard uh, website, so they say to you somewhere, I read it about uh, here. WireGuard works by adding network interface like Ethernet 0 or WLAN 0 called WZ0 or WZ1, WZ2 or WZ3. So that means we have to use this notation when we put the interface name. So here we have to say WG0. Now, this is the, uh, uh, the private key that uh, we have. We don't uh, do anything here on the interface. Then on uh, the interface, we have to put the address. So address equal, it's going to be 172.22.0.2 slash 32. So that's what we have added here, remember? So this is the address that needs to be allowed by the VPN. So I put it there. Also, we put DNS. So DNS equal 1.1.1.1, for example. And now we have to say who is the peer. So we have finished from the uh, from that side. So we have to say who is the peer. So to put the peer, we have also to look. They put for you here a way how to do it. So let's take let's take that that one. So we have to say here copy, and then we go to here, and we have to adjust. So first peer. Who, the public key, what public key here I have to put? I have to put the public key of my peer, which is the Mikrotech router. So we go to the Mikrotech router and we take the public key of that Mikrotech router. Copy and then I will come here and this is over here. Now we have to put here, remember we have this is the port that we need to use, 13231. So this is the port 13231 and the IP should be the public IP address that is on the Mikrotik router. So I will copy it and paste it. So the public IP address finished by 147. That means once we now do the WireGuard, uh, we activate the link because at this moment, if we look, look, the IP is still 31. So now when we do the VPN, we should see the IP finishing by 147. And then we have the allowed IP addresses. We have to put 0.0.0.0.0. What does it mean here? That means that uh, um, all the internet traffic is allowed. So all internet traffic, because we are going to go to the internet, so any traffic coming from the internet to us is allowed. So we keep it like this. And there is one thing that I wish you to do also is very important, is uh, if we look here on the quick start, they mentioned about, let me check if I can find it. Um, actually this one here in the net. This one, the persistent keep alive equal. So I really want you to copy that one and we put it here and we give it like 10 seconds. So what does it mean here? Because your computer is behind the net. That means that whenever uh, the 10 seconds are finished, then the router will contact again the uh, uh, VPN on the router to tell him, hey, are you still alive with me? So that means you will have the uh, VPN always up and running. So that's something I, I like that I added always to put it for 10 seconds. So, so far so good. This is all what I need to do. Now I will say save. 
all right so let's have a look again the last time that is the ip that's correct all right so let's now activate here we go we have activated the vpn let's check first if we have internet i will go to the uh, comment prompt first let's uh, ping 172.60 actually 22.0.1 so I am able to reach to uh, the other side. So let's ping 8.8.8.8. I do have internet. Let's ping google.com to check if the DNS is working. The DNS is working. And the last step to do, let's see what is the IP now. So I will refresh it. Here we go. You see, it is finishing by 147. Excellent. So you can see why guard is working and uh, this is how you configure it on uh, the Microsoft router and this is how you can do it on the uh, Microsoft Windows. If you want to do it on other platforms, you just go to here and it shows you which platforms you can use it. So you can see it's a really a cross platform uh, VPN. You can use it on all the platforms and they also guide you how you can uh, download the packages and uh, how to do the configuration so it works for you. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope that uh, this video was uh, informative for you and I will see you in some other videos.